Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. So, uh, since last episode, um, I've just been working on the base and uh, getting some materials together. I went mining for a bit, and also went and gathered up a whole bunch of lava. I also moved this up here. Um, I think this is actually where it's going to go. But, um, yeah. <laughs> just just kind of working on the base and um, I also got there are 64 iron plates and I'm gonna go ahead and get some electro team going and there we go there's that and I'm gonna get some tin going six pieces of tin uh, that's that the electro team plates and the tin plates we're gonna be using those to make some item ducks here in just a minute um, and I also made up a bunch of silicon bull that's gonna be so easy to automate like where we're at right now because we have sand and we have charcoal coming in in mass and so we're going to be able to make a lot of sandy coal compound uh, using alloys um, but anyways what we're going to be doing I wanted to get into the using the creosote uh, today but it's a little bit beyond our scope right this second we will be moving into that here soon but what we're going to start making is we're going to start off working on making ourselves a generator um, that's going to be using the coal, but I also want to look really, really quick at, uh, I want to look at extra utilities, the resonator, actually, um, because I believe this would be within our mains as electrum and steel plates. Um, okay, that's super cheap. Yeah, we could actually, um, well, wait, Bristonia gears to make these. Okay, yeah, actually, hmm. Part of me wants to go ahead and shoot for that. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and make our generators. We've got, we've pretty much got the stuff. It's not going to be all that difficult. And what we'll do is we'll set up our generators so we can start actually producing some power that's not just solar power. And then we'll start working towards the extra utilities resonator and getting some extra utilities uh, GP production going and then get our resonator up and going. And then we can segue into using the creosote and then maybe start working on biomass or take a short break from it, from the power gen um, and switch gears for like an episode or two, then come back to it. We'll see. Um, but anyways, anyways, uh, let's go ahead for the for the generator. What I'm going to use, I'm going to use the Tech Reborn generators. Um, and it's the same for, actually for the creosote. The semi-fluid generators produce four times the amount of energy that a dynamo produces. Okay, they're, they're a lot more efficient because the Tech Reborn energy does count both as, uh, you know, it counts as FE slash EU as well as RF. So, um, I guess FE is RF, I don't know, but uh, I don't keep up with the millions of types of energy, <laughs> you know. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead, and I'm going to grab this silicon out here. You can see I made some more uh, silicon bulls so that we'd have those available. We'll go ahead and get that. And then I'm going to need, um, to make this, I'm going to need a bit of tin, a bit of electrotin alloy ingots, and destabilized redstone per battery. And I've actually got enough iron plates on me to make four of these, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot for four, uh, four generators. And while I'm at it, let me go ahead and get eight of these. We're going to turn these into water cells. And then let me pop over here. Let me grab this one that I did empty out. I've been, uh, that's almost done. Let me go ahead and dump some more lava in there. My sentient sword was just about to break. There we go. And by the way, in the most recent update, I guess, uh, spider chunks are now obtainable. I did get two of those. So we do have some spider chunks. Um, I also made some iron seeds, and these do require, I don't have enough to really get uh, much going with them, but they do require blocks of iron now. So um, I guess I should grab this. And I, I've been grabbing copper, electrotene, and the iron. The other stuff I'm actually pretty good on, um, but it's these three that I've been using, you know, I've been using a lot of. So the iron, it, I haven't even really managed to craft much in the way of ingots yet, but we're getting there. So let's go ahead and get ourselves um, eight things of water cells because we're going to need that to make our coolant cells. And then I've got, uh, well, I got, apparently I got two buckets of blood, but I've been um, getting some destabilized redstone. Um, basically 10 pieces of redstone. I've been, I did five blocks and five singles. There we go. Actually, I wonder, 
I think I can just do this. Assuming that this tank will work with this. Awesome. That's perfect. Okay, let me grab a bucket of that. Just take it with me while the rest of that's pouring out. And uh, let me pop up here and get that I or that tin because I do want to make some item ducks. It's just going to make our lives a little bit easier uh, here in just a minute for what we're going to be doing. And I've still got to set up three more Coke ovens, but um, all the Coke ovens have been running. So that's good. Uh, even though we do need speed upgrades, but the nice thing is if we get into the GP production uh, side of things, then we can make speed upgrades and that's going to make our transfer nodes all that much better and make everything just run a whole lot better. So, okay, let's go ahead and grab this. I grabbed that bucket earlier and I didn't actually need to, didn't matter if I grabbed it or not. <laughs> I was like, well, we'll go ahead and get one uh, crafted and get everything slotted, but then, nah, whatever. Okay, so for our item ducks, let's take a look at these first. Uh, you know, we had we got some of these from a quest a while back, but we haven't actually crafted these ourselves. These require 1,500 silicon, and then 10 plates, electro team plates, and glass. Okay, and I actually made too many 10 plates. For some reason, I was thinking I needed uh, six of them, but that's fine. We'll find a use for it at some point, I'm sure. But um, Okay, and then I need the hammer, the pliers, the gem cutter. So there we go, and there's our eight item ducks. Wonderful. Okay, and then to make our generators, we're going to need, this is in the engineer's workshop. Okay, um, which I don't have another tank on hand. I've got this tank though. We'll go ahead and snag that one. And we'll just go ahead and pull out that silicon. And then what we'll do is we'll dump in all of that destabilized redstone. And, okay, now we're all set to make our batteries. And these require Electrotene, Tin, and Silicon to make those. So we'll go ahead and get five of those. And then let's get our, um, we'll go ahead and get the Tin. And then the Electrotene I'm going to have to craft. That's fine. Let me actually go ahead and dump that stuff. Okay, so there's a bit of that. Oh, and I forgot to put up that casting table. Okay, so that, actually this all needs to be shifted down, doesn't it? Because this is shape specific. Oh, and I, I think I actually need different tools. Uh, we need the driver, the pliers, the hammer. There we go. And we'll go ahead and get our uh, batteries. Okay, our driver is pretty much done for. I really need to go diamond mining because I'm starting to get low. I only have five diamonds left, but that's okay. Okay, so there's our five batteries. Awesome. And then back to our generator. Let's see. We need... Uh, okay, we need the batteries and the silicon. And then we need the iron to go around. That I actually made too many batteries. Uh... I don't know why well, I was thinking I had five <laughs> to make. I have no clue. And then we need our glass. And then we're also going to need um, these transmission coils, which take uh, silver. Okay, so it's crafted like that. We'll go ahead and get four of those. And those go right there. And then we're going to need to get ourselves uh, chests and then our 10K coolant cells. Okay, and for this, of course, we're going to need just some kind of ice. Just gonna grab packed ice. There we go. There's ten of those, and then I should have four chests lying around. There we go, and that, that. There is our four. Uh, well, there's going to be our four generators. There we go. And down the road, we may change away from just cooking the the charcoal but for now um, I think it's gonna be our best route um, everything's pretty expensive for us at the moment or uh, out of our reach one or the other <laughs> and um, I think that will actually be pretty good okay so we've got four of those and then I'm gonna need um, oh let's see how do I want to do this let's go ahead and 
which actually I'm going to have this segue into making the alloys for us or making the uh, the sandy coal compound. So what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to make a slotted or a mini chest and I'm assuming that I'm not even going to look at the recipe, but I'm assuming that these are probably standard. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, mini chests are nice because they only hold one stack of items. And of course, well, really, we don't have to have this because using uh, nodes, we can, or do we even want to use nodes or do I just want to make, uh, I've got, I've actually got plates in here that I didn't realize were in here. Hey, you know what? Let's uh, change of plans here. Let's grab that little bit of leftover silicon. Let's make ourselves another batch of item ducks. So I'm going to put that in there. That. There we go. Okay, there's eight more item ducks. Okay, so we've got 16 of those. Uh, which should be sufficient, I think. Uh, let me go sleep real quick. Um, but what I'm thinking is we'll just use the item ducks to transfer the stuff over. And that should be, that should be fine, actually. So, let's pop over here. But I've got to figure out exactly where I'm going to set up these generators. Because I haven't, I haven't decided yet. Um, but eventually these are going to be ran off of red coal. So eventually that, uh, the charcoal that we're going to be pumping in is going to be changed over to red coal. And then, um, then pumped into the generators. So, we'll add an extra step, you know, later on. To it but um, I think what we're gonna do is just have our generators come out we'll set up our generators here and we're just gonna have the wall kind of stick out like uh, right here I think I want it to kind of come out so we'll have a block that sits right there and then all the rest of this will be drawers that's handling all of our auto gen stuff from the tree farm um, but what we'll do is we'll just bring this up like I actually need to make one of these Tech Reborn wrenches. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the stuff to make that. And oh, we're missing one piece of bronze. There we go. And I put too much tin in there, of course. Okay, there's that. And eventually we're actually going to need quite a few of these if we want maximum power production. Um, because especially whenever we get up to like maximum efficiency red coal, they're not going to smelt that stuff very fast. So we're going to need quite a few of these eventually. But we're going to shift right click and it's going to pick that up. Don't do it with a pickaxe. Um, just like IC2 and IC2 Classic and, you know, any any mod that's a derivative of that. Um, it's going to break off into <laughs> less than ideal um, items. It's going to be less than... It's not, you're not going to get back the machine. It depends on uh, the mod and which version and stuff, but um, you'll get like machine blocks or different things. But okay, let me let me dig through here, and right here is our charcoal drawer. So what we're going to do? Let's go ahead and just dig up to that, and I'm going to just bring these item ducks out. We'll have them right there. We'll just have them come across like that. And we'll just feed these over. Which this all, I think, yeah, I think all this is lit up, so we should be okay. But let's go ahead and just bring these over. I think right there is good. And then we'll just bring these in on the back side. So the only thing is going to be extracting the energy. Which I guess I can do it from the sides. And just have it run through wherever it needs to go. Um, but anyways, we'll go ahead and plug those up. And I'm going to have to make another batch of item ducks, it looks like. But let's go ahead and I'm going to come around to this side, actually. And we'll just plug up our servo. And we're going to say, uh, ignore redstone. And then this should start pumping out. We'll see... This would be, what side would this be? That's bottom for sure. That should be back. And I think... Okay, I think this should be all, if we set this to back. Yeah, now coal's coming through. 
That's what I want to see. Okay, so it's going into there and it's starting to produce some power for us. Awesome. So that is now running. And it's just going to keep dumping this in here. I'm going to go ahead and throw some... Uh, I'll throw some charcoal into that one. We'll get that running. This is eventually going to back up. Um, it should... Yeah, it'll back up long before it uses all that. I'm not for sure if these will shut off, though. That's one thing I'm not for sure about. I'm not super experienced in Tech Reborn. I'm pretty experienced, I think, with IC2. Uh, of course, Tech Reborn's more based off of Greg Tech than IC2. But they're all kind of similar. But I think it's going... See, it's going to keep wasting the charcoal. No, it's not. Oh. Most coal generators will waste the charcoal if they're backed up on power. This one seems to not waste it. It doesn't seem to be wasting it at all. That means most coal generators are bad uh, because liquid tends to be better because it shuts off when it's when it's full, you know. Um, and solids don't do that, but for some amazing reason, these shut off. So these are like total efficiency. I like it quite a bit. I want to do a bit with Tech Reborn because I don't generally cover it a whole lot. I um, mean, it's in, it, well, for the longest time, it wasn't in a very stable state. It's pretty stable now, I think. Uh, and I haven't, I haven't personally messed around with it in a long time. So it'll be interesting. So, plus everything's really efficient on here, which is great. <laughs> it's very, very great. Okay, so I need, um, well, I'm going to need a couple things. I'm going to need something to transfer energy. I'm also going to need some more item ducks. So I'm going to have to get those running. Uh, let me just warp on back, even though this is actually kind of a waste of food. It's a whole lot cheaper just to run back as, in terms of food. Like, what do we need to make? Uh, well, actually, you know what we could do? Hmm. It's lead and red alloy for that. It's invar and red alloy. Let's take a look, actually, at the Tech Reborn, because we actually got some of these from a quest reward, and I'm curious as to what it costs... I mean, we might be able to get away with like a tin cable or, well, we'd definitely be able to get away with a copper cable because the generators are only, and there's no loss in Tech Reborn, by the way, uh, for item, for energy transfer. These are, well, these output 128 FE at best case, you know, at, at top speed running. Okay, so maybe we'll go with uh, the gold cable. That's the one we actually got from that quest. And we're able to move 2K FE per tick. And then eventually maybe bump up to this one, which takes uh, just silicon and HV, which takes special infused iron, which is um, iron and nether quartz. Induction smelter, alloy smelter, that's the way I want to get to where we're making it. So um, the insulated gold cable, this takes gold cable, which takes gold and destabilized redstone to make five of them. I'm just going to grab 10 redstone worth, and I'm going to get this smelting up. And I'm also going to smelt up uh, the silicon bull. I can't remember how much this makes. When you smelt it, it makes 1,000 millibuckets, which 1,000 millibuckets. How much does it take to fill this? 1,000 millibuckets. Okay, great. So we'll go ahead and get, uh, actually, before we do that, let me pull up this, because I don't want all that blood in there. Let's get that going. Let me put this... Uh, well, actually, I'm going to hold on to it because I'm going to set it right there. And then I'm also going to get uh, four silicon bulls. And let's go with five. We'll get five of those going. How long does it take to pour out silicon? I'm debating if I just want to use a stone tank for it. Yeah, let's do that. It's a whole lot easier than messing with all these sails, I think. Okay, let me get over. Let me get over there and go make those uh, those plates real quick to make our item ducks. And don't forget, we got a pulverizer, so you, we can or double very easily uh, with that. That's what I use to or double all the iron. And I guess I'll throw that in there. But I've actually got some copper ore back at the base or back at the storage building. But I've just been. I need to set up an auto processing system so I can just dump everything and it just gets done. Uh, but until I get that set up, I haven't I haven't worried too much about processing every single thing. 
The nice thing, of course, with using like the pulverizer, I got quite a bit of nickel um, through running that. And I actually used up quite a bit of nickel too because I was making up a bunch of Constantan. And then I discovered that, well, we can't really make the semi-fluid generator yet. So we're going to have to wait on that. That's okay. All right, so there's our destabilized redstone. Okay, so let's go ahead and dump this into there. And then, um, what was it, just gold, I think? It was three pieces of gold and, okay, so we're going to need 12 pieces of gold to make use of all of this. So that, and then to actually make these, it's cutters and pliers. So there we go. There's 20 of those. And then to make the insulated gold cable, it's just pliers. And I'm assuming they have to be in the top slot. Maybe not. So we'll go ahead and place those out. That is right. Yes. Um, okay, so there we go. And I'm sure just... Oh, yeah, I got this. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> Can't believe we used all that silicon. I thought I was going to have extra, but nope. That's not the case. Okay, so we got 20 insulated gold cables. That's not too bad. And then, um, which I got to go back over there and get my 10 plates. But there's our insulated gold cables that came from that quest. So we're up to 35 of those, which isn't too bad. Um, I wonder if there's quests that pertain to this. There probably is. We'll get back on um, the quest lines before too long. But um, the... The tier 2 quest line was a little bit dragging, so I was like, well, let's go ahead and get some power, and then we'll go back to working on that a little bit. Um, I guess I need to get some more silicon cooked up. Luckily, it smelts, like, in an instant. But I need to make those item ducts. Okay, our silicon's pouring out. I went ahead and smelted up 10 silicon bulls. Um, that's another liquid that, here soon, once we automate silicon bulls, we're going to go ahead and automate making and keeping liquid silicon on hand because we're going to need a lot of it so we might as well um, but let's go ahead and dump that into there and then we'll get ourselves another batch of item ducts crafted up so there we go there's that okay now we should be good to get this set up the only thing is I, I want some sort of a battery or, you know, energy storage. We've got that capacitor or that uh, energy cell. And really, I don't know if anything else would be worth bothering with right now. Actually, I wonder, can we make an uh, energy upgrade? Or an uh, upgrade kit? It's a lot of Invar, copper plates, basic control circuit, liquid crystalline. It's a little bit expensive, I guess. Realistically, we probably just make more energy cells would be fine so what we'll do we'll go ahead and just plug this one up yeah that'll be fine and then we'll expand on it um, especially once we get some of our liquids automated like liquid silicon it won't be that bad to make a bunch more of these um, well kind of kind of not not too bad <laughs> but let's go ahead and plug up uh, this last item duct right there and this should be already set up. We should see some charcoal running out of this. There we go. It's sending that over. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our insulated gold cables. And we're just going to plug these up. You can see they're going to start filling up with energy. And we'll do like that. And then I'm going to do... I guess what I'm going to do is do something like that. And then have the energy, you know, pump out. And then it's going to go... Oh, let's see. I don't know if I want to go up and make like an energy storage room up there. Like maybe right up there. That room where we have the... Uh, this would actually make a pretty good energy storage room, actually. And just have like a like a battery, uh, energy storage battery set up in here. That might actually not be, might not be too bad. So if I pull this up for right now... Um, well, that's going to leave us a two-wide walkway. Yeah, that, that'll be all right. We'll start there, and then we'll just kind of play it by ear. Things may change, but for right now, we're going to pump all of our energy up to there. So that's going to put it coming right there. And let's go ahead and say you're going to input energy on the bottom side. Then we'll just bring our gold cable down. 
I need to make more of this already <laughs> because we're going to need it to actually, uh, oops. Uh, where's my wrench? Nope. Oh, I didn't have to remove that. That was actually right. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're just going to come over, plug that in, and then we're just going to bring this up like that. So there we go. Energy is being pulled out of this and it's being sent. You can see they're actually draining quite a bit. They're not filling anything up in the energy cell, but what they're doing is they're transferring that energy and it's going to be backing up down here. I think it's balancing right now. You can see it balances across the system. Yeah, so all this is filled up. That's why it was kind of it was kind of fluctuating on those. Um, but these are pretty well drained out now, so they're going to start refilling up. Um, getting back to where they're backed up, you know. Okay, but now that that's done, what I want to do is I want to make the atomic reconstructor because that's going to kind of segue into what we're going to be working on next. Um, and this. We'll also be using our power generation increasingly more and more, and we're about to make it. We're going to be working towards making it better, and then we'll start working towards the semi-fluid generator uh, next up, I think. So we're going to need to get ourselves a red alloy gear, which is just red alloy and tin to make that. I think, well, we could cut out the middle, the middle man <laughs> right here. A lot of gears don't take that, so I don't feel like the gear press is as important to hurry towards because it doesn't really save us any kind of materials it doesn't look like except for that ingot that is occasionally there in the middle that's the only exception okay but we're going to need to get ourselves 12 bronze plates i'm also going to need one of these um which i should have everything lying around the silicon plates i already have those running um in the you know the plate press there i'm sure they're already long since done by now so anyways there's that and then we're gonna need uh, oh let's see let me grab this grab that and then we're gonna need that super glue which I'm actually just gonna go ahead and dump in all of this um, there we go because it doesn't hurt anything because then I can just use this to bucket it up okay so we got that and then we're going to need the, uh, let's see, four redstone, that, the clear laser lens, I've got glass on me. I think we're pretty well good to go on this, so let me grab this. Let me also get a button, um, which I made a button before and I can't remember what it is to make it. It is two stone. So there we go. I'm just going to throw one of these away because I only need one of them. And of course this is to make the restonia that we need to make the... Um, well, to work on making the resonator. <laughs> okay, so that's done. Let's go ahead and get the, the iron plates. I forgot to grab the bronze. I'll pop back over there really, really quick. Okay, and I need to make the clear laser lens, which is just like that. Just a bunch of glass. There's that. And then I'm just waiting on the bronze plates to get finished up. Uh, which is taking a little bit of time. Okay, there's our last three bronze plates. And there is our atomic reconstructor. Awesome. I'm just going to set this right here and we're going to plug up a button onto it and whoops, I forgot to bring a redstone torch with me. Okay, let me break that off for just a second. <laughs> so it doesn't waste a bunch of power. Even though breaking it, I probably wasted a bit of power. It's not like it really matters. All of our power is free through solar and coal, so. But I want to keep so I want to keep, uh, I want to keep solar pa uh, power on our list of stuff because atop the, you know, the factory, I want to have a nice solar array. And it's something expensive that we can kind of work on um, bit by bit. So, hey, there goes our cart. Which means that another load of stuff was just dropped off. I want to pop down here and see. I know we're starting to back up on wood. Uh, you can see that our three stacks of charcoal are staying in there. It's working great um this is presently gonna back up soon <laughs> is what it's gonna do so i need to get speed upgrades for those transfer nodes because they're 
looks like they're not running all the coke ovens at the moment so but we're going to go ahead and just right click this to pulse it looks like it saved its energy so that's good but we're going to set it to pulse and so basically whenever it receives a redstone pulse it's going to activate and change whatever item is in front of it okay so for the um i don't think we're going to get it this episode but for the resonator um well actually i guess we could go ahead and craft the resonator I just don't think we'll have time to uh, to actually put it to use. We're going to need uh, two silicon plates, gold coil. We're going to need the icy blueprint. Most of this stuff's pretty straightforward. Electrum, steel. Um, the only thing that's not, I guess, is, uh, okay, we're going to need two silicon plates for that. Okay, so we're going to need, we're also going to need these basic coils, which means that we're going to need... Uh, more Rustonia and Inori crystals. So I'm going to go ahead. I think I've actually got, yeah, I've got a little bit. I've actually got enough Rustonia. And that was from before. But we are going to need a Nori crystal regardless. Let me go ahead and just grab some iron. I'll show you how this thing works if you're from, if you're not familiar with it. But then we'll go ahead and use up that Rustonia that we've already got backed up. So, um, or built up. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that was from the, the loot bags or something, but. Like before we stopped using them. But what we can do is we can throw our iron down. Gosh. I'm going to turn this thing off. This thing actually drives me insane 90% of the time. Like I turn off auto pickup, but it's still auto pick. Ugh. I hate this mod. I hate it. I'd much rather just have a magnet. <laughs> I mean it helps with certain things like the gas tears. But oh my gosh. You have to hold it. Okay. Well, anyways, there's our Nori crystals. So, yay. We got those. I'm going to get that stuff going. And then let's pop back over here. Okay, and so for the coils, we're going to need to get ourselves... It's basically just a bunch of black quartz and Rustonia. Uh, for this. There we go. There's two basic coils. And then we're going to need two more black quartz and some gold to upgrade this. There's our advanced coil. And that's going to go right into there. And then we're also going to need to get ourselves two more of those Rustonia gears that are made like that with pretty much any ingot. And then we're also going to need uh, two silicon plates, which we've got. We're going to need, I think, five obsidian. And then a red laser lens, which is crafted like that we have to use red dye on it okay so there's that and then we need the what the five obsidian and then i need uh, some destabilized redstone and then we'll be set uh the tools that i'm going to need are the there we go okay and then aside from that i need to get the gold coils which is more than anything it's just a whole lot of gold and there's that. And then we got to get this thing. I'll go ahead and grab that. Um, yeah, and then I'm really just waiting on the energy laser relay. And I'm also going to have to make two more silicon plates, but I'll make those whenever I pop over. That's no biggie. Okay, so there is our destabilized redstone. There is our energy laser relays. Oh, I, actually, there we go. <laughs> That's where that went. I didn't realize I clicked more of those in there than I had to. Okay, and we won't actually get to use our resonator until next episode because we're about we're about wrapping up point. I think we're past wrapping up point right now, but that's okay. We got quite a bit done today, and then we'll resume and we'll actually start upgrading our coal production. Well, not coal production, but coal efficiency uh, through the uh, so. There is that. There's that, and. There is our steel. Go ahead and just shift click. There is our resonator. Awesome. So we've got that. We have no grid power to actually use it right now. So we're going to set that right there. Okay. So I know it's about wrapping up point four this episode. So I'm going to end this one out here. We got we got a little bit done. We got generators made. We got a resonator made. And we got... Uh, Actually, quite a bit of energy being produced and sent upwards. I've got to get two more generators to fill this segment out, and then we'll do, you know, probably another one right here. So we'll have two, and then of line, two, line, two, line, 
and then yeah i could actually probably fit another one but well, i don't know we'll play it by ear but um we're gonna have quite a bit quite a bit of generators because each piece of red coal is going to last for a very very long time in these things and the fact that they are 100 percent efficient and they turn off whenever needed it's going to help out things a lot so uh but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did as always be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys then.